If you want to make a name for yourself in the business world, you must turn your attention to innovation. This is what this book emphasizes. The book is written by two people. One is AGL. The so-called A.G. Laffley, he was the chairman and CEO of Procter and Gamble in 2000 to 2010 and 2013 to 2015. Another is Ram Sharan. He was awarded the Person of the Decade Award by the Economic Times. The book begins with an explanation of who the game changer is. Game changer is a prophet. He has the power to change the course of business from usual way to a completely new path. What he considers most important to carry like that is novelty in everything. Innovative products, innovative functions, innovative methods, innovation in everywhere, innovation in anything. Laffley exemplifies the success of innovation by citing his own experiences. On June 1, 2000, Laffley received a phone call from John Pepper, former chairman of PNG, asking, are you ready to take over the leadership of PNG? Hearing this, AGL has stalled. Everything that happened after that is the history of the business world today. AGL, who joined PNG in 1977 as assistant brand manager, took over the leadership of the company in 2000. At the time, the company was facing a number of challenges worldwide. Selling its products in almost 180 countries. After taking the lead AGL began to focus on things that could have some small but important consequences. The first thing he did accordingly was accelerate a number of projects centering on them as the customer is the boss of our company. One of them is the Living It project launched in 2002. The main purpose of this program is to get very close with the customers. According to the PNG staff, they stayed in the homes of some low-income customers for several days, ate what they ate, and went with them to the store to buy groceries and began to understand their activities and habits. This is also a kind of reality show. By doing this they realized what they needed and made changes in many of the products they marketed. Introduced new products to the market. This was followed by a program called Working It which asked those who worked for the company to work in shops for a few days. In this way, the shopkeeper learns the reasons why he buys an item or not and designs his strategy accordingly. Through many innovative projects like these, they connected with customers and merchants. Prizes were also given to PNG participants in these projects to encourage them if they came up with any innovative idea. In 2000, only 10 of PNG's brands were selling for over $1 billion worldwide. The number touched 23 in 2007 due to the many innovative projects and processes followed by the company. These include the well known aerial washing powder. Duracell battery, Gillette blade and razor, head and shoulder, Pantene shampoos, Tide soap, Brindle chips, baby pambers and napkins. Today the company has revenues of approximately $80 billion. This is more than the GDP of many countries.